dear students welcome to my channel topic of this video is f test to check variable significance in this video concept of f test and exercise on simple linear regression is covered this is part 1 video now let us start f test reveals that our linear regression model fits the data more accurately than a model with no independent variable regression f test analyzes or compares how well various linear models fit the data the f test can evaluate many regression coefficient at once in contrast to t test which can only evaluate one regression coefficient at a time a f test is a statistical test that is very much flexible in nature f test is typically employed in regression analysis and anova the f test will get the same result as t test when there is just one independent variable so generally f test is used for when there are multiple independent variables are there but in this video i am just going to take the problems for simple linear regression so that you can easily apply the f test on the multiple linear regression however the f test is only one that can be used to determine whether a relationship is significant or all when there are multiple independent variable the following queries can be addressed with f test in linear regression will adding more linear regression variable and making our linear regression model more complex allow you to make it better so here we can take the decision when number of independent variables are significant in that regression model or not it is preferable to replace an existing sophisticated regression model with the intercept only model perhaps the most simple linear linear regression model in which there is no independent variable so here we require to check that whether variables or independent variables that we are using in the linear regression whether they are significant or not or whether they are relevant to the dependent variable or not now i have already published the video on r square adjusted r square t test so it is very much uh, important to understand rss ess tss so in some of the literature it is represented with rss ess tss and in some of the literature it is represented with sse ssr and sst these are the formulas now this is the regression line this is the average line rss is nothing but the residual sum of square which is nothing but the difference between the actual output and predicted output and it is a square terms explain sum of square that is nothing but ess it is a difference between the average value of y and the predicted value of y that is how much that error is explained by the uh, regression concept total sum of square is nothing but the answer between the actual answer and the average answer so it is a total error and this regression is explained by the ess and this rss is nothing but the error between the actual value and the predicted value that's why it is called residual sum of square so it is very much important to understand all this concept before going for the f test now we will look for the f test derivation the mean square error that is msc provides the estimate of sigma square and it is rss rss divided by its degree of freedom therefore mean square error is equal to rss by n minus k minus 1 now here rss is nothing but the difference between the actual value and predicted value so this equation can be represented like this now next is mean square mean square due to regression that is nothing but msr is the sum of square due to regression that is ess divided by its degree of freedom that is msr is nothing but ess by k k is nothing but number of independent variable and here n is nothing but the number of total records now ess is nothing but the difference between the average value of y and the predicted value of y and here we can see that rss and ess they are nothing but the square uh, they are nothing but the difference with respect to something and square is there so they are representing the uh, estimate of sigma square the building of two independent estimate of sigma square form the basis for use of f test to determine the regression relationship relationship is statistically significant or not the formula of f test is msr divided by msc 
that is mean square due to regression and divided by mean square error msr is nothing but ess by k and msc is nothing but rss by n minus k if we arrange this formula we are getting the formula for the f test now we can also represent the formula of f test in terms of r square now the formula is f is equal to r square by k divided by 1 minus r square n minus k minus 1 now if we arrange this equation we are getting f is equal to r square by k into n minus k minus 1 divided by 1 minus r square now from this figure it is very much clear that tss is equal to rss plus ess so we can arrange the equation tss is equal to ess plus rss and r square is equal to ess plus tss so i have already published the videos on the r square and adjusted r square and once you know all the concept it is very much easy to understand the f test now if we replace this r square by ess and tss and this uh, 1 minus r square is nothing but 1 minus ess by tss and if we arrange the terms we are getting the equation like this that is the same equation that is ess by rss and n minus k minus 1 k so we can uh, perform the f test when we calculated the r square value also now we require to represent the following information k is nothing but the number of independent variables n minus k minus 1 that is nothing but degree of freedom and this is n minus 1 now we require to find out first msr then mse and f test is msr divided by mse when we take the example the all these things will be become clear for simple linear regression k is equal to 1 now first we will solve the problem here x is independent variable y is dependent variable and it is a simple linear regression problem the regression equation for this given set of data is y cap is equal to minus 0 0.10 plus 0.7 x now here using the f test we require that whether this beta 1 parameter which is equal to 0 0.7 is significant or not with the f test actually generally with simple linear regression only t test is sufficient because only one independent variable is there but in multiple linear regression multiple independent variables are there so we require to check whether all independent variables are significant or not at that time f test is more preferable but here for the practice i am taking the examples on simple linear regression and then in the next video i will take the f test on multiple linear regression now here we can take the null hypothesis that there is no relation exist between the beta 1 and output and beta 1 is not significant alternative hypothesis is there is a relationship between the beta 1 and output and beta 1 is significant so this is the representation of null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis if we want to prove that this variable is significant at that time we have to reject the null hypothesis now for this problem uh, we require to prepare this table now here we require the rs and rss and ess but sometimes in exam they gives the rss tss and ess so we require to arrange the equation and with respect to that it may require we require to calculate either rss or ess by using that formula so this is input then from the given equation of regression we can calculate it the predicted value of phi rss is nothing but y i minus y cap that is actual value minus predicted value square and there is some then this tss is nothing but the difference between the actual value and the average ess is nothing but the difference between the predicted value and the average value so it is very easy to calculate and we just do the calculation and we can find out the sum for rss sum for the tss and sum for the ess now here we require to find out the degree of freedom that is n minus k minus 1 total 5 records are there and one independent variable therefore degree of freedom is 5 minus 1 minus 1 which is 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 now we require to put the values into the f test n minus k minus 1 which is equal to 3 number of independent variable is 1 ess is 4.9 and divided by either we can use rss or we can use tss minus ess which is equal to 1.10 now here f we are getting the 13.36 
this is the calculated value of the f test now we require to check the f table now here there are two degrees one is a degree of numerator and degree of denominator if we see the formula the degree of numerator this is just change formula that is after modification if we can see the original formula so original formula is ESS by K divided by RSS by N minus K minus 1 therefore the degree of numerator is K and degree of denominator is N minus K minus 1 so we require to check according to this now here degree of freedom for numerator is K which is equal to 1 and for denominator it is n minus k minus 1 which is equal to 3 now here the degree of df1 is 1 and df2 is 3 now intersection point is 5.54 now here the significance level is 0.10 that is confidence 90 percent now this value to reject null hypothesis this value should be greater than this value now we can see that 13.36 is greater than 5.54 so it is accepted at 90% now we will check for the new next fine level for example 95% that is alpha is equal to 0.05 now here we can check that our actual answer is 13.36 and answer is 10.13 still our answer is wrong uh, still our answer is great uh, greater than this 10.13 we can go for the next so if we check for 0.01 that is 99% and we can find out the answer is 13.12 and our answer is 13.36 this answer is 34.12 and our answer is 13.36 now we can't take this range so we have to settle on this range that is of 95 percent so at 95 percent that is the confidence is 95 and significance is 0.05 we are getting the value 10.13 and our actual calculated value is 13.36 which is greater than this 10.13 so in this case we are rejecting the null hypothesis now this is 10.13 our calculated answer is 10.36 if this condition is satisfied we are rejecting the null hypothesis and by which we can prove that our parameter beta 1 is significant so in this way we can apply the f test now we will move for the next example here again x is independent variable y is dependent variable we have to check this beta 1 parameter which is equal to 2.6 is significant or not with the f test so here again we require to keep that null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis and to check this variable is significant we have to reject null hypothesis and for that f test calculated value must be greater than the value in the table for that particular confidence interval now here again we can calculate the y cap by using the regression equation even we can easily calculate the value for RSS, TSS and ESS and here degree of freedom is n minus k minus 1 number of one independent variable therefore n minus 2 which is equal to 5 minus 2 equal to 3 and k is 1 now we can see the formula of f test and here n minus k minus 1 is equal to 3 by 1 and this 60.76 divided by 12.4 here we are getting the calculated f test is 16.35 now again we will take the degree of numerator which is k equal to 1 and degree of denominator is equal to 3 if we can check at the significance level of 0 0.10 we are getting the answer 5.54 our answer is still greater than this so we can check for the next level now we when we check for the next level the our answer calculated is 16.35 and this 10.13 again we can go for the higher but higher level is that here the 16.35 is not greater than 13.12 so we will set the answer for the 95 percent confidence now for 0.05 the value is 10.13 our calculated f test is 16.35 which is greater than 10.13 so the whatever that variable beta 1 is significant that is the overall model is significant so null hypothesis gets rejected and parameter beta 1 significant this is our conclusion now see the next example here uh, I purposely change the regression equation to check that if our regression equation is not proper or the variable is not significant how the f test is giving the answer for this data the original regression equation is 1.5 plus 1.5x 
but purposely i took the equation 1.5 plus 3x because if we put this equation the our the variable 3 is not significant here and we can easily check with the f test now always like for this is nothing but the significance checking so we are using the hypothesis null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so like two previous example we are stating the null and alternative hypothesis similar to previous two problems we are just preparing this table and it is very easy to prepare the table once you understand that diagram so the concept of r square adjusted r square then t test is very much important to understand the f test now this is the predicted value and this is nothing but the calculated value for rss tss ess and we require the final summation of them now here degree of freedom is n minus k minus 1 total four records are there four minus one is equal to two so if we apply this formula we are getting the f is equal to 2.63 now degree of numerator is one and while the degree of denominator is two we are getting the value of f 2.63 at 0 0.10 now we can easily check that this value should be greater than this value to reject the null hypothesis but this is not happening because this value is greater than our calculated answer so our answer is not work for the even 90 percent and we if our condition is that we should not go actually less than 90 percent so here we have to reject uh, we have to accept the null hypothesis so here the value is 8.53 and our answer is 2.63 to reject the null hypothesis this should be greater but this is not the possible so here as 8.53 is greater than 2.63 we are accepting the null hypothesis and here we can prove that parameter beta 1 is insignificant but when you try to solve this problem using this equation you can find out that by this equation you find you find you will find that this 1.5 that is beta 1 parameter is significant so in this way we are using the f test to find out the whether that particular variable is significant or not significant in this video i took explicitly the simple linear regression problem in the next video i am going to explain for multiple independent variables thank you